Hello, I'm Jill Lagerberg, the director of Knoxville Christian Arts Ministries. KnoxCam was founded in 2009, and our mission is to share the gospel of Jesus outside the walls of the church using music, drama, and dance. Our primary ministry is to men and women prison inmates. We have 120 members, ages 18 to 91, from about 40 different local church congregations. We believe that God created us to be creative and to use the performing arts to glorify His name and share His love. The arts are powerful, and we have seen how God uses them to break through barriers of pain and grief, guilt, anger, bitterness, fear, to bring people to the feet of Jesus and help them realize that no matter who we are or what we have done or what has happened to us in the past, God still loves us. For the last 12 years, we've been presenting live concerts in prisons across Tennessee. What we do looks most like musical theater with original stories and original music and includes actors, dancers, choir, handbells, and orchestra. COVID-19 put a stop to our traveling, but when a door closes, God often opens a window. And so we decided if we couldn't travel, we'd make a movie instead, something we'd been thinking about doing for a long time. The result is the film you're about to see, Lost and Found, a modern day retelling of Jesus's parable of the prodigal son set on a farm in Tennessee. Lost and Found was a 20 month project involving 165 people, almost all of whom donated their time, their talent, and even their personal belongings to make the film possible. We are tremendously grateful. If you like what you see and your heart is drawn to Knox Cam and you'd like to become a giving partner with us, you'll find information about how to make a donation on your screen following the film. When KnoxCam started in 2009, our prayer was that things would happen in such a way that no one could say anything except God did this. Over the last 12 years, we have had many opportunities to say that. And I'm thrilled to be able to say again about this film, God did this. We give him all praise and glory and thanks. And now it is my honor and huge pleasure to present to you the very first Knox Cam film, Lost and Found. Was a mighty bright light that was shining down. It was a mighty bright light that was shining down. It was a mighty bright light that was shining down. Oh, a mighty bright light that was shining down. Oh, do you want to see?
the tractor's in the pond. What? I told you last week the brakes were on their last leg. I adjusted the linkage, all right? I thought they were fine. They needed a rebuild. According to you. They needed it. All right, listen, I thought that they would get us through planning and then I could work on it later, It's all right? always later with you, isn't it? The tractor is in the pond now and the seed drill. Good grief, Danny. <laughs> I will get the tractor out of the pond and the seed drill, okay? I'll take care of it. And what about the seed lost and all the damage and the time it's gonna take and the money we don't have? I said I would take care of it, all right? Get off of my back. I'll take care of it. You've done enough. Get some help. Thanks for always being in my corner, sis. He's impossible. He won't listen to me at all. I'll talk to him. Danny. Yeah? What happened? Dad, don't start. I thought you said you was gonna fix the brakes. I, it's not like I did it on purpose, Dad, all right? I thought they were fine. Jesse said Yeah, well, with... Jesse is always happy to blame everything on me. Besides, Jesse is always mad if you don't do everything exactly her way. She could have been killed out there. All right, Dad, I get it. I'm a total screw-up, okay? <sighs> What's going on, Danny? Nothing. Son. can't take it anymore, all right? This, this farm, this work, this life, I, I feel like a hamster just trapped on a wheel and I can't get off and I, I hate it. I see. I want to leave. I got to get out of here. Well, maybe that would be the best thing right now. I know it's been rough on you since your mama died. Don't talk about mom, okay? Look, Danny. Why don't you go to college, like Jesse did? I'd help you pay for it. I, I told you that before. It'd be good for you. No, it wouldn't. I hate school. What do you want? I want to live in Nashville, in the city. Do what? Work with Sam. Sam never was the most responsible guy when you were in high school. What's he doing in Nashville? He's promoting artists, the, the young guys, the, the cutting edge guys, and he's getting hot right now, Dad. I mean, he's getting so busy, he can't even handle it all himself. He, he needs a, a partner. He needs money. Well, yeah. But listen, he, I mean, he's, he's about to break into the business, and if all he needs is a little... I've been thinking. Why don't you just go ahead and give me what's coming to me? Give you what's coming to you? Yeah, my half of the inheritance. Your half of the... <laughs> Danny, you know I don't got that kind of money in cash even if I wanted to give it to you. You could sell part of the farm. You want me to sell part of the land? After four generations in this family? Well, not to sound callous, Dad, but it's pretty much what I was going to do anyway when you... I mean, you know, with your heart... I mean, you've already had two heart attacks. And what's the difference between then and now, except that now is when I have the chance to get in. And I'm not gonna get another one. I see. Besides, you and Jesse would be happy to get rid of me. That's not true at all. I love you, Danny. 
More than you could possibly imagine. Yeah? Well, then let me go. Don't, don't do this, son. You got no idea what's coming to you. Okay. I'll think about it. You will? Uh, maybe you could talk to Ben. I bet he'd be happy to buy the East Half over next to his farm. Huh. You got this all figured out, don't you? Well. Give me a couple days to think. Come on. You gotta go help get the tractor out. I told Jesse I'd do it later. It's gonna take all of us. Come on. Dad, you can't do this. You're absolutely right. I'll take some eggs and some bacon. Dad. Can I at least have some coffee? You know the answer to that, and it's not what I'm talking about. He's set on going. So let him go, but, but don't sell our land. Yes. And Ben will be only too glad to buy it from us, won't he? It's not enough he has the biggest farm around. And he'll end up getting our whole farm, too, at a bankruptcy sale. Dad, this is going to ruin us. No, it isn't. And people will be talking about how stupid this whole thing was. No, they won't do that. Uh, farmers are good people. Four generations, Dad of hard work and sweat and love poured into this farm, and you're gonna tear it up for Danny? The irresponsible little twit? It's, I don't know, I, I don't even know what to call it. it it's insane. Jesse, listen, I know it seems foolish. I know you don't understand it. I, you're absolutely right, Danny's a mess. It breaks my heart. But when somebody is so bent on having their own way, sometimes the best thing is to give it to them. That's asinine. He has to learn. Learn what? How to ruin his life? And ours too? He has to learn his own heart. And how much I love him. So you think you're just gonna love him enough to save him from himself? Yes. That doesn't make any sense. I know, but it's still true. You're crazy, Dad. You're just, you're just crazy. What, what about us? What about our life? I would give anything for Danny to learn how much I love him. I need to get out there, finish fixing the tractor, get to planting before you sell off my half the farm for my own good, too. Ben. How you doing? I've been better. You okay? What do you want, Ben? Mm, I've got the contract. So I see. Your dad's price was very fair. I'm sure it was. I gave him every penny he asked for. That's great, Ben. What's, what, what's going on, Jess? Your dad said he needed the money. I thought you guys were, were going to lose this place. What? No. You know, I would hate that for you. I thought maybe this would, this would help. Okay. Well, is your dad here? I'd like to give this to him. He's at the doctor. I'll give it to him when he gets back. Yes, really? Just trying to help. 
You've done more than enough, Ben. Just leave us alone. Can you pass the potatoes? Danny. Did you not tell him already? Tell me what? Dad. Ben bought the east half of the farm. The money will be in your account next week. Are you serious? You actually sold it? That's great. Where are you going? You haven't eaten anything. I'm calling Sam. We'll be fine, Jess. Uh, but him, I just have to keep praying.
Good evening, I'm Alan Williams. Knox County health officials issued a health directive ordering the closure of bars and restaurants and limiting capacity in Knox County. Dr. Martha Buchanan says four new confirmed cases in March prompted that order. Knoxville Mayor India Kincannon followed up with that order, closing gyms, limiting restaurants to only carry out, and commercial events like concerts scheduled in the Tennessee Theater, as well as the Bijou, Elton John's concert in Thompson Bowling Arena, and community-wide events for an indefinite time this spring. The same directive goes for the state and shuts down much of Nashville's music industry. The CDC is now urging a nationwide halt of gatherings of more than 50 people for the next eight weeks. It's the strongest and most sweeping guidelines to date.
That's Danny. I think you're right. What's he doing over here? I do not know. Stay here a minute. Let me see if I can talk to him. All right. Be careful. Danny? Uh, no. I, uh, you must have, uh, you must have me confused with somebody else. Oh, I'm sorry, man. You just, you look a lot like someone I used to know. Ah, uh, it's okay. Well, you have a good evening. Yeah, you too. What happened? Oh, it's him. He tried to act like it wasn't, but it's him, all right. You know what? This is ridiculous. I want to FaceTime Jesse. What is it? You are never gonna believe who we just saw down here. Who? Take a look. Looks like a bunch of homeless people. This is book poster. It's your brother, Danny. How can you even tell? You weren't wearing a mask a minute ago. Ben tried to talk to him and he acted like he didn't know anybody. Where are you? Nashville. Off Lafayette, it's a little place called Pie Town. Looks sketchy. Uh, a little bit in some areas, but there's this church. And they sing songs, they have praise and worship, they feed the homeless, and well, Danny's in that line. What are you even doing down there? Nashville Mission is right around the corner. We help out sometimes. The homeless shelter? Yeah, homeless shelter. Lydia, I gotta go. No. No, no, no. What do you mean you have to go? That's your brother. Look, Jesse, Danny's in trouble. You need to talk to him. You Tell him you love him. Tell him to come home. You need to talk. Why am I talking to you? Look, I'm taking the phone to him. No, no, I, look, he made his bed. I, I gotta go, Lydia. Jesse! <sighs> Chill up. Let me see if I can talk to him again. Ben, be careful. Oh, hey, Danny, let me buy you supper. I told you I don't know you, man. Okay. I'm sorry. Man. Look, I know a few people at the mission up the street I there. Don't I could need your help. Danny, please. I said leave me alone. God. OK, man. Oh, my God, are you OK? I'm fine.
It's gonna be a hot one today, even if it is September. You can feel the humidity already. Going up to 90, they say. I brought those figures we talked about on double crop and wheat this year. If you look here and here, you can see that potential yields are good and uh, prices are up. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a good idea to do it. Yeah, it looks good. If it pans out like we think, we'll really benefit financially. We could really use it. Yeah, I know. He's been gone 18 months, Dad. You haven't heard a single word from him. He won't answer your texts. He thinks standing out here looking for him every morning is going to bring him back? I'll never stop looking. I got to get down there and get to harvesting. They say there's a storm coming tomorrow night. Hail likely. I wouldn't be surprised without how hot it's been. In 10 minutes of good sized hail could ruin us. I'll come out and start drilling in the wheat. See if you can't keep ahead of this weather. Oh, Dad, it's too hot for you. I'll get it after it rains. We'll lose a couple days, but it'll be okay. Be careful. Yeah, I know. I will. All right. You're home. You're safe. <laughs> Dad, I, I'm so hungry. Come on in. We'll eat. We can talk about all the rest of that stuff later. I love you so bad. You know, I don't deserve any of this. It's going to be okay. You're home. You know what we're going to do? Tonight we're going to have a big barbecue. About all the friends. And uh, we'll dance up the barn like we used to do when your mom was still alive. No. Oh, it's been too long. No, Dad. No. Come on. No.
Good to see you, Dad. Yeah, good to see you, man. Glad you're home. Thank you. Hey. Good day for you, huh? Ah, best Glad thing home, ever. Huh? Hey, what? Where's Jesse? Ah, she's still harvesting. Afraid of hail. Ah. Danny, yeah, yeah. come on and dance with us. Nah, maybe later. Oh, oh come on, on, Danny. I know you haven't forgotten <laughs> how. You too, Joshua. Uh, well. Oh. Yeah, you go. You guys Don't have got to celebrate. Oh. It's a celebration. All right, young lady, you got yourself a partner. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, you can't let your old man get ahead of you. Come on, All right, man. but I'm not doing this without you, man. Come on. Absolutely. <laughs> Come on, honey, let's show him what dance. All right, let's go. <laughs> Danny's come home, Jess. He's come home. Well, I can see that. Right after you left this morning, he just come walking up the road. Well, how'd he get here? I don't know. That don't matter right now. He's home, and we're celebrating. Well, it looks like the whole town's here. It's not even safe. They're social distancing. Come on, have some barbecue. Dance. You like fixed barbecue for all these people? Go on. It's okay. Dad, I don't understand how you... Look, we can talk about all this later. Let no, start... Dad! I am out here every day, killing myself. And he took half our money and wasted it. It's all gone, isn't it? Yeah. Of course it is. And who knows where it went? No place good, I can tell you that. And the farm, the land, our land is gone forever. And now he's back. And here you are throwing him a big party like it doesn't even matter. Just stop. Now, you have always worked hard here with me. Always. It. You're the heart and soul of this farm. Everything we have here is yours. You know that. I love you, honey. But I love Danny, too. And, and he's come home, so please, please, please. Come on and celebrate, please. I can't. I can't. What? No dancing? Come on. There's still plenty of barbecue left. Y'all you know, can't be full yet. Let's get this party started. some coffee? No thanks, son. <sighs> oh, you know, this just might be it. Prettiest morning I've seen in a long time. 
going to be a hot one, though. <laughs> you sleep all right? I did. Yeah. You don't know how good a bed feels until you, uh, you don't have one. You look tired, Dad. You sleep all right? Yeah, I slept fine. <laughs> I did. Just, just a little too much partying last night, that's all. Took a lot out of you, old man. It was worth it, though, wasn't it? It's good to have you home, son. Dad, I, uh, I need to tell you. What? I, uh... When I left here, I thought that I could make more money working with Sam than you ever thought about making. We took a lot of risks. And, uh, and it worked at first. You know, we were, we were rolling in it, and we thought nothing could touch us. And then COVID hit and the concert market was just shredded. And most of the money was, it was gone. Just, just gone. And so I started gambling, trying to, to get it back. And I lost it. I lost it all. I was so stupid. And I couldn't find a job. You know how the economy is. I just... Dad, I've been homeless. I've just been walking the streets. And I wouldn't have even come home, except that it was that or I would have just starved. And so I thought, I thought maybe, just, just maybe I could come back here and, and get a job. And maybe you and Jesse would tolerate me. And maybe, maybe you'd at least feed me. Danny. No, no, Dad, I, I need to say this. And then yesterday, you just, you saw me and you came running. And you hugged me. And you kissed me even and you were crying. And I realized that you still loved me. And I didn't expect any of that. And then last night, you, you threw that party, and it was like you were actually glad to see me. I am glad. I, I look for you to come home every day. I prayed for you every day. I never stopped loving you, Danny. I know. I know that now. I just thought you wanted to dictate my life. And I didn't want anything more than to just to take your money and to be free of you. And what I did was so I didn't care if you died even. It was despicable. And you keep, you keep calling me son. But I don't deserve that. I forgive you. I love you. 
My son. I love you, Dad. Oh, it's a uh, Jesse. It's already out harvesting. Oh. Hey, honey. What's up? What? All right. Uh, hang on. We'll be right there. The combine's on fire. Come on. Take the truck. I'll drive you. You dial 911. the crop up in smoke in the combine. What matters is that you're okay, honey. You managed to get off it. <gasps> we can't afford this. How are we going to make ends meet? The combine's insured. We'll manage. We've had tough years before. Not like this. It's going to be okay. No, it isn't. Would you stop saying that? Jess, just take a drink of water now. Tell me again exactly what happened. Who knows? Um, it was so hot today and the wind was blowing like fury. Maybe the chaff ignited. Hadn't even been out there that long. No, maybe there was a leak in the line. Just smoke started pouring out and so I went at it with a fire extinguisher and then I started flaming big, and so I had to back off, and there were like two or three explosions, and it just went up. Yeah, you could have been hurt bad, honey. You killed even. Are you sure you're all okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Dad. <sighs> uh, a few lines in the bearing look okay this morning. They seem fun. You, you checked them out, right? No, I was in a hurry to get down there. But they seemed fun when I checked them yesterday morning. Did you clean out the chaff? No, I was trying to get the crop in before bad weather, Dad. Oh, Jeff. I was in a hurry. And... Um, not just this once. I can't believe this happened. It's not fair. I worked so hard and I kept this farm going, even with mom gone and you with your heart the way that it is. And after half the land was sold, now Danny's back. Causing trouble again. I try to do everything right, and this one time, I don't deserve this. Why are you trying so hard to be perfect? I'm not. I think maybe you are. <laughs> Why does it matter so much to you?
Well, I better get inside. See if I can get the insurance company on the phone. Okay. I love you, honey. It, it really is gonna be okay. Morning, honey. Morning. How'd you sleep? Not so great. Go on, keep you up. That and other things. Well, I'm glad it rained. At least we know the fire's out. And I guess we won't have to worry about hail damage now. You know you shouldn't be drinking that. Well, I'm glad to see you still care about me. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. It's only hot water. Like Mama used to drink? I never could get your mama to drink coffee. So how is it? I never did understand your mama's taste. She married you, didn't she? <laughs> like I said, there's that beautiful smile. You, know, you look a lot, a lot like your mama when you smile. I like to see it. Sure is pretty this morning, after the rain. Not so hot. Yeah. I'm going to start drilling in the wheat today. Well, why don't you get the Danny to give you a hand? You're right. I think you might find that he's changed, Jeff. The insurance man's coming this afternoon. Take a look at the combine. I won't have much to see. I'm sorry about the fire. I know. Gus. So angry and careless and stupid. I couldn't sleep at all last night. People make mistakes, Jess, even you. I forgive you. Do you? Because I don't know if I can forgive myself. Stupid. Jess, what are you so afraid of? Why do you keep asking me these questions? I don't know what you're talking about. Jess, you just, you just beat yourself up trying to be perfect and always do the right thing. And it practically kills you to admit that you can mess up. What are you so afraid of? How could you just take Danny back like that after he's been such a worthless? You think he don't deserve my love? No, he doesn't. It's not fair. 
I'm the responsible one. I'm the one that's never done anything but trying to work hard and please you. I'm the one that deserved your love. But now, now I've had this, this horrendous screw up and, and it turns out that I'm just like Danny. And I don't want to be a failure like him. I don't want to be a failure. I'm so afraid of being a failure. And I'm afraid you're, of... You're afraid if you mess up, I love you less? Yes. I, I didn't love Danny any less when he messed up. Why would I love you less? Because you love him more. You sold our land for him. And you never got over it. While he was gone. And you took him back like nothing ever happened. You love him more. Jess, I need you to hear me good. You don't have to earn my love. You put that on yourself, Danny. <laughs> if you have to earn it, it's not love. It's wages or something. You're not a hired hand. You're my daughter, and I love you. You remember that game you used to play with your mama when you were little? You'd say, Mommy... <laughs> How much do you love me? She'd answer with all these huge things, like, uh, I love you higher than the moon, or uh, I love you more than all the raindrops that ever fell on the whole earth. That's how much I love you, like that. And, and I don't love Danny more. I'd have sold land for you, too, if that's what it took and taking you back. That's my daughter. If you have taken me back about the combine, I mean, and a lot of other things I'm realizing, like, like pride, jealousy. I never let you go, honey. Or Danny. So sorry, Dad. I've been so wrong. Please forgive me. Jess, you were my pearl of great price. Of course, I forgive you with all my heart. And I would give anything for you to understand how much I love you. <laughs> That's what you said about Danny. You said you'd give anything for him to know how much you love him. Yeah. Then now me too. That's right. I guess I better go find Danny and apologize. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. And I love you, Jess. <laughs> more than to heaven and back.
It's nippy this morning. Dad would have loved it. Yeah. He would have said, feel that good, clean air. Look at that sun coming up. Finest, Finest morning I've seen, seen in a long time. time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get your paper finished last night? You were out in the field all day. Yeah, I kept falling asleep, but finally got it done. Dad would be so proud of you going to school. Especially online, it takes a lot of discipline. I'd like to make him proud. He loved us so much. Yeah. Jess, you do know that I'm gonna wanna go back to Nashville at some point, right? I figured you would. This farming thing isn't for you. Never really has been. <laughs> no. Oh, you remember when we were kids and you built this invention to make farming nicer? Don't bring that up. Yeah, um, you thought that the cattle prod was mean, so you put a feather on the end of a stick and you said it'd be nicer to tickle the cow. No, please stop. Wait, wait, what was it you called it? Uh, you had a name for it. The Prada Cow 3000. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Dad called it the Prada Gal and would chase Mom and me around with it. You got so mad, he was teasing you. I was only four years old. I would say I was pretty much a genius. <laughs> Besides, if I remember correctly, you took it pretty seriously, and you even wrote a manual on how to use the thing, and we were gonna sell it to all the farmers in the whole world. <laughs> we were gonna revolutionize farming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, for a guy who doesn't like farming, you've been really great the past few weeks. You know, I never would have believed it, but Nashville's gonna be really lucky to have you. I was a fool the last time I went. But even though that I screwed everything up, I still really like the city vibe. And I'm not gonna be a fool the second time. I know you won't. And I'm gonna make sure that I have a good job and make sure that that's lined up first. But, but if I'm gonna go, I have to know you're gonna not try to take everything on yourself. <laughs> I'll be fine. All right, well, in my efforts to once again prod a gal. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you have to hire somebody on to do some help. All right, at least part-time, since it's not gonna break the bank. Actually, Ben and Lydia have offered to help whenever we need it. Can you believe it? After everything. They're really amazing people. Yeah, they are. I thought they were too happy to grab more land. I was so ugly to them. That day in Nashville, oh, I shoved Ben. I was so rude to Lydia on the phone. I never told Dad about that. <sighs> I guess I was just a jealous, you know what. Yeah, I guess they never told Dad either. But they never gave up on us. No. I didn't, I told them how sorry I am. And they turned out to be such good people. Dad always said farmers are really good people. I feel like I can see Dad coming up on the tractor with Mom holding on beside him, laughing like she used to. <laughs> yeah, I bet they're up in heaven right now, riding on a tractor, a big one. <laughs> a new one. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think Dad literally broke his heart loving us. I know. To Dad? To Dad and Mom. And the way they loved us. you come to buy more land off us? I'll take every acre you got. I'll give you a fair price, too. Yeah, and what might that be? Danny. Ah, uh, depends. Does it come with any equipment and household furniture? It might, but you do have to take on the bossy old farmhand that comes with it, because I would not want her to be without a job. 
even though she is hard to deal with. Oh, stop it, you two. Oh, don't pay no attention to them. They think they funny. Look, we were headed into town, and we just came by to invite you guys to dinner tonight. I just pulled a boatload of zucchini, you know, before the frost and everything, and I'm getting ready to make the biggest and best zucchini lasagna you have ever seen, and we're gonna need some help eating it. Uh, well, we can help save you from the zucchini monster. Well, thank you. Oh, speaking of monsters, baby, I bought you a little monster of your own. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome. Oh, I'll make zucchini bread. <laughs> zucchini bread, that would be great. So, mm, seven? Yeah, we'd like to fire pit and, and sit out back. Oh, a uh, social good. distance, of course. Good idea. Well, thank you, and we'll be there, and I'll make sure that he behaves. Thank you. Yeah. Not likely. Ben, can Lydia make you behave? Not likely. Uh-uh! <laughs> <Just, laughs> she loves me anyway, y'all. No, no, no. Lydia's a good woman. And she loves a good man. On oh, Sundays! <laughs> oh, you two are crazy. Ah. <laughs> so we'll see you guys tonight, 7 o'clock. Oh, and I'll bring apple pie. I made one last night. Oh, my favorite. Yes. And ice cream? That would be mm. great. Thank you. All right, so you guys, we'll see you later then. Right. We'll see y'all later. All right. Come on, you bossy old farm hand. <laughs> Let's get out there. The frost is coming and the harvest won't wait. Mm -hmm. 